How's it going everyone? Be Humbled here and welcome back to our Monster Hunter Stories 2 playthrough. So as you can see I have a little bit of a different outfit. I got some of the DLC uh, outfits that let you kind of have the original costume from Monster Hunter Stories. So that was really fun and as you can also see we're not at the desert right now. We are back in Lasoka because I want to try to beat this thing and get an egg. Um, I off screen did a battle against the Zenogre here and I was able to beat it, but I never got an egg. So I kind of want to try again before we jump into the story here, just because I think it'd be cool to maybe have a Zenogre on the team. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, let's kind of just get into it. We have Roberto here who was really uh, instrumental in beating this thing because Roberto can do so much damage. And quite honestly, I forget what type of attacks this monster uses, so I don't think it matters right now though. <laughs> oh dang, got a critical hit right off the bat there. Alright. I also didn't get it last time because um, I couldn't tell, like, how the um how low it was on HP. It doesn't really do Oh wow, we each did 160 for each other. It was really hard to see if the Zenogre was like exhausted or not, so unfortunately I was gonna fall throw a people at it last time. So we're gonna go technical here. Um gonna switch you out actually, go short bait. Also did a little off-screen grinding. Some monsters are a little bit higher level now. But that's okay. Alright, he's charging. He's getting electricity. He's angry. Oh yeah, I also got a new gun lance too. Like, I got the uh, gun lance for Legiana. <laughs> off screen. She's doing a lot of things off screen. Just to kind of hurry the progression of this game a little bit. Um, I want to say you're technical now. Totally be wrong. Let's see though. Yes, perfect. 669, dang. Did some pretty good hits to him. Um, Alright, so we'll do this again. Also, something I want to bring up too, or ask you guys, um, what did you think of the Pokemon Direct last week? By the time this video comes out, it'll be almost a week since, but I wanted to get your thoughts and opinions on that. Because I personally was very happy with the Direct. <laughs> I thought they did a really good job. They made the games look so much better than they were. <laughs> and that's all I can ask for. Like, BDSP, Rolling Diamond Chain Girl looks a lot better in the trailer they had this time than, uh, of course, in the reveal trailer back in February, I think. So, totally know this is not a Monster Hunter game, but we are going to be playing uh, Shining Pearl on the channel, possibly doing a Nuzlocke out of it when it comes out. So, I thought it would be interesting to get your guys' opinions on it. And then Legend Darkus, like Arceus, I'm so super excited for this game. The only thing I do wish is that the graphics were a little higher quality. Like, I'm excited for the gameplay and stuff, but um, I think the game could use a little bit extra finesse graphically. We'll see if they do anything, though. I doubt it. I feel like the art style is probably set at this point, but huh, I could do it from a little blur effect here and there. Tendo contact, and I'm just talking over as we do this because I fought this in over already once before. Like, he's actually not too bad. I also know I'm pretty high level compared to him right now. Or when I did this originally, I should say. <laughs> Roberto's just hitting the truck though, so that also just really helps. Double power attack here. Yeah, I'm gonna do the kinship. So we're both level. Well, he's level three. Let's do this. But I like how that even though I am in the uh, 
snow, it still goes to the desert. <laughs> Slice that snow in half. <laughs> oh dang! Alright, hello. So I'm going to now throw the paintball. So we'll do that quick. Oh, it's probably gonna do a super attack here. I think that was a really powerful attack last time. Survive. Sharpie is. Sharpie needs a little healing though. <laughs> um, so we're gonna switch Sharpie out. And go to Jasper. And we'll do a power attack on you. Because I'm having you pretty close to being dead. There you go. Roberto just finished it up in one hit there. <laughs> please retreat, please retreat, please retreat. No! Ah. <laughs> uh. Alright, so that's the thing about this. This is probably gonna take multiple attempts for me to do, so... I really want to try to get this in Nogar, so I am going to wait, or I am going to keep retrying this until I actually get it. So I'll see you guys as soon as I do. Yes, alright. So, only had to do this battle one more time and we got it on the second try. Nice. I actually had to throw two paintballs during that fight because I thought the first one may have worn off a little too quickly than I thought it was. So, um, I'm glad that it worked. <laughs> also got some good items for crafting. And where is this nest? There it is. Should I heal up? Probably. Healing is probably a good idea. Alright, so let's go nab a Zenogra egg really quickly. And then we can continue on with the rest of the story. A little bit sweet. Um, just go right there. Hopefully we can get a gold or rainbow egg. Um, very quickly. Because I really don't want to fight another Zenogar again. <laughs> okay. Okay, perfect. Please be Zenogar. Yes, it is. Alright, I'm not going to chance it because I think the monsters in the nest are a little bit stronger than they are outside. So I don't feel like going through a whole never fight again. So we're going to just take the Zenogar egg and... Get up out of here. <laughs> All right, perfect. So let's head back to sit. How do you pronounce this again? Loose. Lucian. I have no idea. Me and name pronunciation just does not work together. <laughs> All right, well, let's go hatch this egg and see if we can add this monster to the team. All right, here we are. We got our Zenogar egg. Let's see. A big head on that small body. Oh my goodness. Alright. Um, let's see. Oh, I guess we can look at it at the screen. Let's see what type of attacker you are, really quick. I don't know. Oh, there you are. Oh my goodness. You're a speed boy. Oh, you have the jump ability though. Oh, we just put Frozen on the team, though, because I think I would need to keep Trigger on for Ivy Climb. Because I'm assuming Frozen is a flying monster, because that's why it's 
ability is still hidden. I'm assuming it's a fly monster and we can probably do that soon. Uh, do I want a Znogur? I kind of do. <laughs> I know we have Daredevil already, which is another um, electricity monster, but... I think we're gonna have to do that and then hopefully... I don't know, we'll see if we can maybe switch things up around soonish, but I feel like that's the best call for now. Should also give this guy a name really quickly. All right, so we got Zing Zap, the Zenogre, which is 100% Pokemon move. <laughs> but you know what? It's okay. Oh, I would love to put Frozen back on the team, but uh, I like having an even number of each of the different um, fighting styles on teams, like two. Uh, speed 2, technical 2, power. That's just like how I like to play games like this, so we'll see. Um, alright, so last time we left off, Diverto was telling us we had to go to some sort of desert cave, so I'm gonna... I'll leave the Daredevil out front and let's go to the hot spot we were before. You know, let's go evening, why not? I feel like I don't go around to places in the nighttime as much as I should be doing. I always choose afternoon because afternoon looks so pretty. Alright, so I think we go this way. Alright, so apparently I have to go this way. To this really sketchy cave. Desert cave. I'm assuming we're going to have to go find our way through this cave to fight one monster. <laughs> yep, that's what it looks like. Alright, let's see. Well, this looks like a big cave, so that's cool. <laughs> Gosh, this place is massive. Oh, uh, we got somewhere though. I guess we went the right way. Roberto, spill the beans. Why did a Plesioth appear in the Barrens? Be patient, and you'll find out soon enough. Does a Plesioth have something to do with the desert? Want to chill it with the questions? The answer is there if you listen to the monsters. Listen to the monsters? Look, I know they don't actually speak. But it's possible to find out why they came somewhere, and what's making them act all weird. If you pay attention to them, is what I'm saying. Old Red could hear the voices of monsters, though. Red? Who's that? My buddy's grandpa. He was a genius writer, and my friend here has definitely inherited that. Red, I feel like I've heard that name before. What's gotten into you? And what's with that face? Hmm. Hmm? Do you mean like the red? You 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 knew him? No, dude, only the name. He's known amongst hunters as a pretty radical rider. Wowza, buddy! Even hunters know about your grandpa! So your Gramps was Red, the far out rider who could vibe with monsters. <laughs> In that case, you better up your game, kid. Okay, let's go see if you figured out the answer. All right, it looks like uh, Red was known across the hunters, which is interesting because not sure how far the timeline of everything is, but I guess they knew about writers long before stories one. Because writers were kind of like excluded for a very, very long time. But, um, oh, we got purple lead rough here. Oh, I need a rock break. Do I have that? No, I don't. Because I got rid of it. Nope. So I can't get the chest anymore. Great. <laughs> oh, well. I know I say this like of every cave I go to, but this one, like, 
All this just seems so massive. Like, look at all this distance we've had to go. <laughs> Ooh, we can jump now, though. I'll take a jump. Bing! Uh. Ooh, it's okay, fast boy. He's a very fast boy. Uh, there was ivy over here. Was there anything? There's no chests, though, or anything, is there? No, yeah, why not? Just check it out, I guess. I forgot what area I saw a brute T-Grex in, but I kind of want to go get a brute T-Grex. So those things, oh my gosh, those things are even more powerful than a normal T-Grex, which is insane. Uh, I gotta go this way. I went down the wrong thing. Ooh, what's up here? Anything interesting? Anything that I want to see? Waterfall? Nothing. Can't even have a rare bug or anything up here. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's continue forward. I'm assuming we're getting very close to this nest, which we are. Alright. Probably gonna get something activated as soon as we go in here. Yep, can't even grab a bug. <laughs> Ah, uh, cephalodrome. He's <laughs> just like waddling up to us. I oh come on, that's not a surprise attack. Ouch. Uh I forget you speed attack. I think you're speed, so I'm gonna go technical. Yep. I think we hatched one of these in the previous episode, I want to say. Um, I'm gonna switch you though. Get, let's get Daredevil in here, why not? Get our dare, disgusting Daredevil in here. several turns when they're underground, I believe. <laughs> yep. I don't know what to do. Um, alright. Well, if it's a sound triggered thing, can we do a sonic bomb? Will that work? Oh, there we go. Alright, cool. Ugh. I think that's disgusting when it's playing. Oh, that sound. Ooh. <laughs> it sounds like a pig snort. Oh. I don't like the get up, please. Thank you. <laughs> Go for a technical attack, bud. <laughs> don't don't start this right now. <laughs> Man, can't remember if it goes technical or power though. Power. So I need to go. Okay, my, uh, my turntables here. Um, go back to trigger. Healthy trigger does a speed attack. Yep. And we're gonna do a burst fire. 
Oh, central. Come on. A goofed. Sorry, trigger. Oh, trigger. No. <laughs> Though. So let's let's ride. Right, so let's do power. So we broke two parts. Uh, let's go for it. Let's see if we can get one more. Looks mm, like I can't though. Let's just do the kinship skill. <laughs> okay, it's getting down. It's going down. Uh, it's still mad, so let's do this. That theory. Let's go. Yeah. Oh no, I got it. Okay. Because I know when you had an angered monster in the air, you could not get it. You didn't get a flash bomb. Please, please stop that. Um, yeah, do that. No better team than a hunter and rider. Oh, dang. Sing Zap almost grew nineteen levels. <laughs> Sweet, high voltage, okay. One battle. He got pretty well up there, that's pretty cool. The reason there was a Plesioth in the Barrens was the Cephadrome? Correct, Amundo. The Cephadrome drove the Plesioth out of its territory. In its usual habitat, the Plesioth wouldn't have troubled us. You're making me feel sorry for it. It's the natural order of things. We're all just trying to survive. It's necessary? For survival? Monsters compete for territory, dude. Then they devour one another to satisfy hunger. It's just the way it is. Like it or lump it. So they attack each other simply because they want to live. Right. And it's the same with hunters. We take down monsters so that humans can survive. We all take the lives of others to prolong our own. That's the truth. And there's no changing it. You just gotta roll with it. It's just my opinion, but I think we stand to gain a lot from cooperating, you know? Riders can bond with monsters. Surely you can groove with fellow humans. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's work together to solve the mystery of the pits and clear Ratha of suspicion while we're at it. Well, let's head back for now. Roberto? Thanks, dude. Sorry I said hunters and riders could never get along. <laughs> hey. No worries. It did hurt my feelings a bit, though. Well, as an apology, I could offer you the fine fungus specimen my buddy found earlier. How totally rad of you. Thanks. Seems like you got your gram smarts after all, huh? 
Where did we get that from? <laughs> Let's see. Huh? Oh, there's a bug on it! Huh? Ah, that's right. It slipped my mind, but Roberto gets totally grossed out by bugs. Poor River. <laughs> Alright, let's hurry, hurry back to Scrivener's, alright? Ooh, we can get an egg. It's probably gonna be a Cephadrome egg. Oh, sweet. Expedition party's back. I forgot I had that out. Yep, and that's it. Just get an egg. Just get one cephadrome egg. <laughs> Alright, we got the humble scene wyvern egg. Alright, so I think we'll call it an episode here. And then next episode, we'll head back to town and see what's up next. So, thank you guys for watching, and remember, stay kind and be humbled. Bye!